When Illustrator generated this document, it added our 12 artboards very close together. And it does that by default. I would suggest that that is going to be problematic, not least because the nature of creating your artwork is it doesn't always live exclusively on just the artboard. It may well run off the edges and it wouldn't be handy to have artwork that only relates to artboard one, for example, running onto artboard two, because it will appear in export and in print. So in essence, every artboard needs a generous amount of room around it. And the way that we'll achieve that is by going to the properties panel. Now I'm going to drag this out from the side of the screen so we can see it a little bit more clearly. And then to go into artboard editing mode, you click on the button called edit artboards, at which point the artboard that was active has now become selected, which is artboard one, and it gains bounding box handles rather like a shape when it's selected. Each of the artboards also have a label that's shown in the top left hand corner. That's a number. And then it shows the name of the artboard as well. In terms of the properties panel, you'll find that the width and the height of the active artboard is shown in the upper portion. And we also have options to change the name, add, delete, and change the orientation of a selected artboard. You can also change the preset size. So at the moment it's set to A4. From the drop down list in here, you could change it to one of the other presets. Now in our case, I am actually going to change the name of the first artboard in here as an example. I'm going to swipe over that and call this one wildlife and then press return to apply that name change. So now that artboard is labeled as one, Wildlife. Well, you might be thinking, why on earth would you name an artboard? They're already numbered, so we can tell the difference between them. So why have a name? Well, the answer to that is that if we were to export all 12 of these artboards as separate files, Illustrator will first of all name it according to this current document name, poster templates, but then on the end, it would add the artboard name as well. So if you're working in Illustrator document on a regular basis and you need to export out those artboards, it makes it much easier to identify which one you wish to progress or pass on to somebody else because each artboard is individually named appropriately. But the other main issue that we wish to resolve here is the closeness of all the artboards. And so to change that, we'll go down to rearrange all. When I click on that, it tells us that we have 12 artboards that they're laid out in a row formation. So we have artboards one to four across the top row. We have five to eight in the middle and then nine to 12 in the bottom row. You can define how many columns you have and you can also change the layout as well. So if you wish to have them all in a straight line from left to right or from top down, you can do that as well. But in our case, we'll leave the layout pretty much as it is. So we need to increase the columns to four but also increase the spacing to 60 millimeters. So I'll swipe over that value and type in 60 millimeters. And then that should give us plenty of room around each artboard to work with. And just underneath, I'll leave the checkbox for move artwork with artboard turned on because of course we have a logo on each of those artboards. And when we move them, the logo will move with the artboards. And from there, I'll click OK. With that done, I'll click on exit and then I'll drag my properties panel back down to the side and dock it underneath layers and just give it the room that it needs like so. Now we will come back to this file in a later exercise and make some further edits, but uh, for now I'll save the document changes and I'll close it down.